This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Hey y'all, welcome to Nexus Core. It's your boy Hose, uh, bringing you a deck profile again. Sorry if my voice is a little, uh, hoarse or something. I literally just woke up. Alright. Starting, uh, what is this called? Cardinal Shits? Orphus deck? That's what it is. Starter. Uh, Cardinal Fang Fovey does the same thing as all other starters do. Going to the right deck. Uh, Cardinal Noid Rotus. When this unit is placed on Vanguard, search your deck for a what up to one world card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Rear to guard skill doesn't matter because I only use it for the search skill. Next, I run Cardinal Noid Cubisia. Cubisia? Cubisia. When a world is put into your order zone, choose one of your units and it gets plus 5,000 until the end of the turn. Rearguard skill during your turn if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, this unit gets plus 5,000. And finally, the main, start of the, the main star of the deck, Cardinal Deuce Orphus. During your turn, if your world is Dark Knight or Abyssal Dark Knight, this unit gets plus 5k power. Act, uh, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, Counterblast 2 and call up to 3 Shadow Army tokens to your regard. So that's the what this deck does. It's token beatdown. It's really boring. But the upcoming set has some support that makes it look promising. Alright. So, grade 3s. Another 3 Orphists for the Persona ride. And 2 Jabatail. Jabatail. Uh, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight and this unit, when this unit attacks... All it, it battles all of the units in one of your opponent's columns, so a nice good way to take out boosters. Alright, moving on to grade twos. I run two Cubisha, just for the power boost uh, that it gains on rearguard. I run four Polar Cold Monster Drumler. Its skill is, when this unit is placed on rearguard, if your world is Abyssal Dark Knight, Counterblast 1 and Soul Blast 1, draw a card. Really simple. I almost never use its skill because I'm low on Counterblasts and Soul from other stuff. Next to the Grade 1s, I run 4 uh, Bulbamine, the most uh, important card of this deck, I'd say. Most expensive, definitely. Its skill is, at the end of the battle that this unit boosted, if your order zone has a set order, put this unit into your soul and counter charge one. Uh, honestly, I would run this in the prison girls deck, but I don't know what to take out. Next, uh, four PGs. Finally, for my grade ones... Three useful recharger. Its skill is when this unit is put into the guardian circle, counterblast one, and if your world is dark knight, this unit gets plus five k until the end of the turn. Plus five k shield. If it is abyssal dark knight, this unit gets plus ten k shield until the end of the turn. So, uh, nice power boost, uh, defense boosts there. And now moving on to the order cards, I run. For uh, In the Darkness Nobody Knows, you play this card, uh, you can play it with a Soul Blast one, and its auto is, when this card is put into the order zone, choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and retire it. Uh, order zone, if your order zone has uh, world cards, the following effects are active according to the number of world cards in the order zone. One card becomes Dark Knight, the world becomes Dark Knight, two cards, it becomes Abyssal Dark Knight. Uh... I like it. It's okay. I much prefer this one, though. It is Howling Moonlit Night. Play this with a Soul Blast one as well. And when this card is put into the order zone, just draw a card. So, like, just place it, draw a card, you replace it instantly. For, uh... Uh, triggers, one over trigger, obviously. Four heal. Uh, running the cardinal noids in this. 
three stand and eight crit. So yeah, that's the deck profile. Uh, it really isn't. It's not really like that complicated to use. You just it's just token beatdown with a uh, Orphis. Not really any combos that I can think of right now. Just yeah, just uh, call all your Shadow Army tokens with that, and keep uh, these are the Shadow Army tokens. And, like, keep a bunch of cards in hand for shield until you can just beat them later on. Um, anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, also, f because the next set is coming up, if you have any recommendations on what I should use, because, like, on how I should update this deck, because I have no idea how to update Orphis. I had a real easy time updating um, uh, the Aurora Battle Princesses, but this one, it just, there's too many, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching, hope y'all have a great day, night, whatever it is.